America, and all points to no good. This is Mrs. Bruce's good little bad boy, Eddie, bringing you some hot news and cold facts. Flash, Hollywood Cal. What well-known movie star was divorced last week? In fact, what well-known movie star wasn't divorced last week? <laughs> Before I start to talk, I want to say something. <laughs> I mean, I want to say something about Tito Gazar, the handsome troubadour of Radio Land. I understand that after one look at him, wives go home and hiss their husbands. I'll let you take a look at him now. <laughs> Cantaba la rana suni 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 debajo del agua. Suni suni cantaba la rana suni 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 debajo del agua. Marihuana tuvo un hijito y le pusieron San Espedito como el abogado de los de Santana porque era sazón para la marihuana. Puedo ni levantar la cabeza con los ojos rete colorados y la boca reseca, reseca. Marihuana, ya no puedo ni levantar la cabeza con los ojos rete colorados y la boca reseca, reseca. For the love of Mike, why don't you be quiet and let a fella get some sleep? Well, I was told to come here. Where is Rosita? This isn't Rosita's apartment. This is number nine. I hope you'll pardon me. Well, pardon me. Flash, a hot tip from Wall Street. Stocks are coming back. Yes, sir. Not for the same people, but they're coming back. By the way, an orchid to those two screen sweethearts who are married ten years today and still holding hands. They've got to. If they ever let go, they'll kill each other. <laughs> Green old Nev, Mrs. I. Long, who is out here for a divorce, said in an interview today that they have been married for ten years and not a blessed event. It seems that they just couldn't get along. <laughs> get it? But I know one girl who's going to get along. That's Shirley Howard, the songbird of the air. And when she sings a song, it stays sung. And here she is now. Ever since the lucky night I found you, I've hung around you just like a fool. Falling head and heels in love like a kid out of Poor heart is in an awful state now, but it's too late now to call a halt. So if I become a nuisance, it's all your fault. Don't blame me for falling in love with you. I'm under your spell. But how can I help it? Don't blame me. Can't you see when you do the things you do? If I can conceal the thrill that I'm feeling, don't blame me. I can't help it if that doggone moon above makes me need someone like you to love. Blame your kiss as sweet as a kiss can be. And blame all your charms that melt in my arms. But don't blame me. Flash! 
Let me thank the admiring listener that sent me the train goldfish. I've named it Sally Rand. The minute I put it in the tank, it did a fin dance. <laughs> what well-known man about town came home drunk the other night, shook the hall tree, and started feeling around the floor for apples. And speaking about men about town, the men about town are so busy they can't get about town. And that's about all I can tell you about the men about town. Here they are. And she lived down in our alley. Here's a tragedy that happened on a side street when a fellow went to ring his sweetie's bell. He saw the shades were drawn and he knew his gal was gone. When he listened to the story that a neighbor had to tell Oh, and he doesn't live here anymore You must be the one she waited for She said I would know you by the blue in your eyes Checkered suit, a fancy vest, and polka dot tie You answer to that description, so I guess that you're the guy Well, and he doesn't live here anymore and he doesn't live here anymore It's too bad you didn't call before She just bought a gown that ties with ribbons above Brand new shoes, a pretty hat and latest type of She really was so alluring and just waiting for your love But and he doesn't live here anymore It was spring There was romance in the air and everything Seemed for love and hearts to share, and there was she, as lonely and as blue as she could be. That's the reason Annie doesn't live here anymore. Might have been your picture that she taught. She was oh so faithful, what a pitiful sight. Waited for the letter that you promised to write. A gentleman in a top hat called around the other night. And Nanny doesn't live here anymore. She don't live down in our alley. Ah, just received a telegram. Program coming over great. Stop. I'm sending you a sample of our product to use on your throat. Ha <laughs> ha. The Never Miss Razor Company. Flash! Lover Bergman, who created the part of Joe Paluca on the air, plays so many different characters. Each time he goes into a studio, he has to be introduced to himself. Lover is going to play the part of a stuttering. Buh -buh, buh -buh, buh -buh. <laughs> He's got me doing it. You take him. Hello. Uh, can I help you, young man? Oh, golly, can, I, can you? What do you want? I, I want to open the cake about. A, a bank of it. A bank of poop. Oh, you want to open a bank account? Yes, sir. Uh, sit down, please. Oh, thank you. Now, <clears throat> what's your full name? Dad Blubber Bigman. Uh, Bugman. B B B Bergman. <laughs> That's it, Dad that Blubber Bergman. Middle initial. B. B? No, sir, B. Blubber B. Bergman. No, sir, B. Blubber B. Bergman, B. But. But what? B. But they call me B. Blubber for sure. What sort of an account do you want to open? I told you a bunker cake. A cake about. A bunker poop. Yes, sir. What do you want to open it with? Naturally, I want to open it with a key. And I mean, what do you want to start the account with? I guess I uh, better have to start it with uh, money. Of course. Now, how much money have you got to start it with? Uh, how much can I start it with? Anything over five dollars. A um, uh, million dollars. How much have you got? All I got for Christmas. How much was that? Not enough. All right, but how much was it? It was uh, six dollars. Was six dollars? Yeah, yeah, but, but I uh, spent a dollar. So you have five dollars for your initial deposit. Yes, sir, I have that. Huh? You have five dollars for your initial deposit. Yes, sir. Uh, listen, I don't want to deposit my initial. No, you want to deposit five dollars. Yes, yes, sir. All right, give it to me and I'll put it in for you. No, I want to put it in myself. But you are putting it in yourself. Not if I give it to you. Listen. Give me the money and I'll put it in the bank for you. Ah, oh, no, you can't fool me. Now, you ain't a bank. You see, there, there's a bank. Oh, that is not a bank. That's only a safe deposit vault. Well, it looks more like I'm a bank than you do. Here. Here. Here's a quarter for you, young man. 
Now you take that money and go buy yourself a toy bank and put your money in that. I will not. Now I want to put the $5.25 in this bank. Oh, my God. 